Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to brief you on the uh, incident that occurred yesterday. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Dave Kent with the Shasta County Sheriff's Office. Uh, yesterday evening, May 7th, at about 7.45 p.m., uh, Shaskom received a, a disturbance 911 call at a residence uh, 28400 Alpine Way in Shingletown. Deputies arrived at the residence and uh, subsequently observed two subjects uh, down inside the house. Uh, deputies requested assistance and subsequently entered the residence locating one adult and two children uh, deceased. Uh, after checking the rest of the residence, uh, authorities' uh, medical uh, was called out. Uh, we had apparently uh, three subjects that suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, we do not have a confirmation as to the type of firearm at this, at this time. Uh, those subjects that were deceased uh, are later identified as 34-year-old Sandra Miller, 8-year-old Shelby Miller, and 4-year-old Shasta Miller. Upon further investigation, law enforcement officials believe the husband and father are responsible uh, for the alleged three homicides. Uh, the gun has not yet been recovered. Uh, we are currently looking for the suspect, 45-year-old Shane Franklin Miller. Uh, we believe that he's driving a gold 2010 Dodge Mega Cab pickup with a similar colored camper shell, California license plate, 8 Zebra 75988. Uh, Miller is believed to be extremely dangerous and believed to be armed. Uh, he's at large in the Northern California region. We have federal, state, and local North State agencies working on pursuing investigative leads to locate Mr. Miller. The law enforcement community would like to express our condolences to the families and friends of the victims. Uh, this morning uh, we had uh, an incident uh, where Bishop Quinn was temporarily locked down uh, but uh, was since opened uh, after several calls that came in. Foothill High School had a self-imposed, self-soft lockdown, uh, and that's just basically a co closed campus. So at this time, we're just uh, asking anyone for any information on the whereabouts of Mr. Miller, uh, and uh, you're encouraged to contact the Shasta County Sheriff's Office at our records department, uh, area code 530-245-6135 or the 24-hour uh, records at uh, 245-6025. If, if anybody happens to come in contact with Mr. Miller, uh, use caution and dial 911 so that law enforcement authorities can uh, take care of it. Does anybody have any questions? Who called 911? Call him? Who called 911? Uh, we haven't confirmed that as of yet. Did the call come from the house or from the house? It came from the house. From that house? Yes. When you guys got the call, do you know how long it took you guys to get to the time of the call to the residence? Uh, I don't have that timeline. Uh, I know that the call came out at about uh, 7.45 hours, 7.45 p.m. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time it and took before authorities arrived. I don't know if this is rumor, but it was reported that it was, it was interrupted, the phone call was interrupted. Is that true? or? Then I will not call I'm not able to confirm that this okay. time. Steve? How close are the nearest neighbors? Did they hear anything? I wasn't able to uh, find out how close the neighbors are from this residence. Uh, I know that the uh, area was canvassed and uh, investigation ensued. We did get some information from the neighbors, but um, at this time we can't release any of that information. Why is Mr. Miller a suspect? Uh, at this time, he's the primary suspect. We have no other suspects uh, that we're looking at this time. Why are you focusing on that? Well, I can't get that information out at this time. It's, uh, it's too early in the investigation. 
So until um, we're able to locate Mr. Miller, uh, we can give out more information. Is there any prior disturbances at that address? Uh, there was a uh, domestic uh, type of dispute. I think it was back in April of this year. Uh, that's what I have to my recollection. Can you confirm that Mrs. Miller's cell phone was presumed in the engine area at this point? I cannot confirm that at this time. There was also, we had some tips, people calling and saying he was spotted near that elementary school with that white was on lock and Was that end up not being true? or? Um, I believe it was just a call that came in, and uh, for uh, precautionary reasons, they uh, temporarily locked down the, uh, the school, and it was uh, since reopened. Do you guys have any luck narrowing down where he may be right now? Any idea, you know, where do you start looking in such a big area? Well, it just depends on the leads that we have, and uh, that's what we have federal state and local agencies that are uh, working with any investigative leads that we have. And uh, again, we don't have any pinpoints at this time that we can confirm. Does Mr. Miller or Mrs. Miller have any other children besides the ones that were in the house at the time? Not that I'm aware of. And when you got to the house, uh, what was the scene like? What, where were the deceased? I think for, for purposes of the investigation, uh, I, I wouldn't want to get into the, the, uh, the details. I think it's too graphic. Was anybody else home besides the deceased? Uh, there was nobody else besides the three deceased. Did you and, have to unlock it or was the door open? Or? Um, unaware if we had to at this time. I wasn't actually at the scene, but um, my deputies had to enter the residence. Question. Mr. Miller have properties or family elsewhere? Um, I'm not able to confirm that right now, and of course we are looking for him, so um, uh, we may have some leads as to uh, a direction at this time, but I can't give that information out on to the media. Was this a, a domestic dispute between Mr. Miller and Mr. Miller that you guys were called to? Uh, actually, we were not able to confirm that at this time. Do you think the victims were still alive when that 911 call came in and they were deceased by the time you guys actually arrived on scene? I don't think I'm at liberty to, to tell you whether or not um, it was actually one of the victims that called 911. So I'm unable to uh, let you know who actually called. One more question, please. Any other questions? One more. Do you have any other questions? OK, again, let me, uh, let me reiterate. Uh, if there's any information uh, regarding the whereabouts of Mr. Miller, uh, you're encouraged to call uh, the Sheriff's Office at our 24-hour uh, records department, 245-6025, uh, or the uh, detectives unit at 245-6135. So this is the last one question. question. Um, are there any other relatives living in the area? Uh, I'm sure there are, but we're not going to give out any details as to where they are. I was going to ask about prior contacts with Mr. Miller. Uh, have there been any? I don't have any uh, information regarding uh, prior contacts other than the dispute in April. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks,